morning. Yesterday we left you at Cranky Rock. So we were considering going to Wa Gorge. Wa Gorge is 60 k's off the highway and it's a dirt road and you have to drive through a few private properties. You're allowed access but you have to get out and close gates and stuff. So I just didn't really fancy 120 k's on dirt. And the gorge itself apparently it's nice but I think it's dry. Like, unless it, they get a lot of rain, it doesn't really flow. We're just going to check out this wall here. Drive around and get up in the mountains. Yeah. If you're looking for an easy stroll to do, it's a really beautiful drive up here and the path is all paved. It's a 750 metre return, so nothing strenuous at all. So if you're looking for an easier laid back day but still want to see something nice, I think this is a good place to come. The rocks here are really beautiful. They're a <laughs> um, result of two volcanic explosions that happened in the area. But this part that you see here in front of us, that's such a small part of it. There's so much more around the corner. It's breathtaking. So the reason you end up with all these very uniform columns is the basalt lava cooled evenly and slowly. So that allowed all the crystals in the molten rock to kind of align and that's how you like align with each other and that's how you end up with these kind of, I think they would have been originally hexagonal columns um, but a few of the corners have kind of chipped away over the years. Pretty cool. So the campsite we're staying at tonight is 18 k's that way. But we'll have to drive 90 k's, which is an hour and 25 minutes or something, to get there. So it's the same national park. We've just got to go like all the way around all these mountains. Yeah. And it's chip sandwich time again. See the one of the... I guess he can't really go down, can he? No. Did you not see the one of the kangaroo waiting at the roadworks? No. He's hopping along a road like that and he gets the roadworks and he just stops at the red light. <laughs> waits for like 30 seconds and then what? it goes green and he hops on. <laughs>
We're almost at the summit of Mount Kapata. So you can drive up here or you can walk here from the campsite. I didn't realize they were the same thing. So we drove here and parked down there. Oh. Doing skids. <laughs> that we're heading to is called Dawson Spring Campsite. It's for tents, vans, not caravans, and camper trailers only. So if you have a caravan, you'll look past multiple signs that say don't bring a caravan up here. So don't be doing that. Um, it's not a safe road to be bringing it up a caravan. It also says don't bring large motorhomes up. Yeah. So I phoned ahead to the New South Wales Parks office and just asked them would it be okay to bring a standard van, but it's a big van up. And he said, yeah, it should, you know, there's no issue as long as you're not towing anything or it doesn't have like, like a big huge, box big boxy, you know, like overhead sleeping or anything like that. Yeah. So the yeah. drive up hasn't been too bad. The no. road's really potholed, so we've just been taking it slow, but it's, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, even once you're off the gravel and you're on the bitumen, it's not like a complete relief because the bitumen's not in the best condition. Like it's not terrible, but it's no different from the gravel pretty much. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this campsite because it is luxury. It does have showers and it's been probably about a week since we've had a proper shower, hasn't it? So uh, pretty keen for that. Yeah, a week and a bit. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, oh, a week today. So we just arrived and Ryan's going to whinge at some people because they're parked in our campsite and there's only a few free sites left and they're tent sites. <laughs> Doesn't look like they're going to be moving anytime soon. <laughs> I reckon someone took theirs last night. People just don't pay for campsites and it's like it's a national park just pay you six to eight dollars like it's so cheap don't be cheap it's so much value for such a small price Let's see what happens here well so the story is they came here yesterday and someone was in their spot right. so they just took the one next door okay so do we take their old spot then um yeah, she said she was checking to see which one was still available. But. So because we're going to only stay here for one night because they're closing the park for roadworks after tonight, we are going to cram all of our walks in. So our rough plan is we're staying here at Dawson Spring. This afternoon we're going to do this walk around here, probably be around six-ish Ks, I think. Come back, have dinner, and then we'll go up back up to Mount Capita and do the walk there to the summit for the sunset. And then tomorrow we'll drive out and head to Mount Koya. So with that one, it kind of goes around a summit there and it sounds like it's really pretty. So this one's recommended to day trippers. And then we're also going to do the Yula Danita walk. I think that's how you pronounce it. And yeah, looks really cool as well. So that'll be really fun. I'm really glad it dropped 10 degrees since we got up here. <laughs> yeah, probably I wouldn't want it to be any hotter. No. It reminds me of Pernalulu. Yeah. It's yeah. Just that, you feel the heat coming off the rocks. Yeah, agreed. Open, open up. See. So crazy up the top here so we've walked up all this rock and you literally feel like you're on Mars or something Mars with trees I guess but this is where we've come to this is over the other side so we climbed up from that side over there so there is a broadcasting tower at the top here and you wouldn't believe it, but in winter, this gets some 
hectic ice on it apparently and you can hear it falling off the lines I couldn't imagine it looking at this day <laughs> all right so we're gonna head right here and we will end up at Lindsay Rock Tops what? grasshopper <laughs> Honestly, this little bit here, that would be perfect to make a stir fry and feel the heat off these rocks. It's, it's a lot. You could definitely cook your dinner on these. So dry here. Ryan was just saying, all the reviews were saying that it gets really wet on this path. Make sure you have good waterproof footwear. Yeah. But it's pretty hard just to imagine because it's just dust and really dry wood. Oh. Just dust. <laughs> All right, so we're going to head to Lindsay Rock Tops. It's 800 meters, but it's a 30 meter incline. So. That'll be good. We just heard this giant kangaroo in the bush. The bush was about as high as me and holy shit, that was loud, wasn't it? Yeah, huge pounding. You just hear breaking branches and stuff. But like the noise on the ground was like doof, doof. It was like someone dropped a big log from big thud. five meters up or something. And then we saw it later because it made a noise again. And it was really dark and massive, but I didn't get any footage, unfortunately. Yeah, I tried to get that in. Did you? I tried to. Oh. Uh, Pat. Oh, he's so close. I really thought oh. he was going to land on your hat just oh, no. then. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Where did he go? It's on that little branch straight above the path. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. It's always reassuring. There's some more. We're having a biff. As long as they don't biff with us, it's fine. So stiff and rigid. <laughs> oh, they're cute.
Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. Pun. Like, look at the... Yeah, you can see him there. <laughs> Three passengers. <laughs> Let me see you back. No. You normally have... Excuse me, mate. You know the way to Dawson's campground? That must be the thing up here, hide under the tables. <laughs> You're looking for scraps? We finished the day on a sunset hike up to the summit of Mount Kapita. So it's a 2.4k hike and it's paved most of the way. Really beautiful at sunset, so highly recommend that. There are quite a, quite a lot of steps, but it's worth the hike up there. You'll see goats and kangaroos on your way up and a lot of birds. This morning, we have gotten up and we've taken a little drive. So we're only staying at that campsite for one night. We're at Mount Koya. I think it's a summit trail. It is, yeah. Yeah. So this one is a four kilometer medium level hike. And we'll do that. And then we'll head off to the Mount Yella Danita. I think that's... You're really good at pronouncing that. I just see it and go, bleh. The, yeah, 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 the wild one. The wild one. <laughs> Yellow Danita um, trail. So that one's supposed to be a hard one and it's also 4Ks. This is return, so 4K return for both. But yeah, just a bit of a harder track. So we'll take you along with us. So many stairs. <laughs> Air break. That's tough. And this is not open. Did you say the elevation gain was this on this again? 
think? That's worth it. <laughs> I can say that now. <laughs> That's the summit there. <laughs> Can't say you made it to the top if you don't stand there. Oh, this isn't as rickety as I thought it would be. Yay! Hang on. <laughs> as, you see, as you're about to fall. Yay! I made it! <laughs> now make it taller. Ah, oh. oh, for fuck's sake. Dare you to crawl in? No, that's not happening. <laughs> All right. It's a good wee spot. You can go. <laughs> Thank you, baby. So apparently these grass trees split and get another head after a fire. So that one hasn't been in the fire, and that one has. You put my hand in the side, otherwise you get all spiked. All the fresh shoots. <laughs> all right, so unfortunately we're having a change of plans. We just finished Mount Koya and it's 12 o'clock, it's pretty warm, and yes, I don't think we're going to have time to do the last one. It is a harder walk, so it'll take quite a while, so by the time we have lunch and then go do that and then try and find our next place to stay tonight, it'll probably be like 7 p.m., so we're pretty pretty exhausted, hey? We're just going to go back and get a, a shower instead in the campsite. Yeah, so... Getting a wash mate yet? Caught? <laughs> Come on, the side stuff's a bit dirty. That's where we were this morning. A rest stop now in Narrabri. Uh, we we're a bit ambitious today and didn't end up doing the second walk. But how was the walk? 
it was lovely. So it walks up through the trees and then there's a like the top of the mountain is probably a 30 or 40 meter like straight cliff and you walk up and then do like a circuit around the top of it. So we went left which takes clockwise. you clockwise. Yeah, yeah, it takes you along and then right up to the summit and then you walk back down and along the front and side cliff face which okay. was really cool and I would recommend it doing it that way because if you went the other way you would see all the same views as the summit while walking along the cliff face but the way we done it you get to see the summit view and then on the way back there's all these grass trees and stuff and it's really cool walking nice along experience the... walking underneath the cliff and yeah. the stuff also you get all the stairs out of the way at the very start so just when you think the stairs are done at the junction where you start the loop section of the walk there's more stairs but fear not there's none coming back <laughs> no it was really good yeah it was stunning also that walk is one that they recommend people who are coming up to do day trips to do so um the terrain changes a fair bit and um yeah definitely recommend if you're only going up for the day that's the one to do so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a like and subscribe if you want to see more we'll see you in the next one bye